Hi, this is Carl from SquirrelSolveVideo.com. I'd like to sh go over with you during this video a purchase that I made on eBay. When I bought this item, I didn't really understand the contents of the, uh, the purchase. So, it was only $10 or so, American dollars, so I said, yeah, I'll give it a shot, see what happens. So I received this CD in the mail, which is right here. So I was pretty excited about receiving it, so I opened it up. Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit closer. I opened up the CD, and you see what comes out. A very unprofessional copied CD and it's in this little plastic envelope it might be hard to see but it's in a little plastic envelope and also inside is this little note that's folded up and I'm going to read the note to you it says hi there from the model club this dish will only run on a computer put disk into CD-ROM if auto boot is off Go to Explore Disk, sometimes Windows. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes Windows 7 will not run on the XP, and vice versa. You will need Adobe Reader and a RAR unzipper. Any problems, please email me before giving feedback. Hope all goes well. Cheers, Bob, from the NPT Model Club. Please call back. So, by reading this, I understand that he wants you to fully understand the purchase before, before emailing him with your feedback. So, I have not left any feedback to this point, which I plan on doing after I complete this video. So, what's on this CD? Well... This CD is, to me, is very disturbing how one person or one club can copyright and infringe on somebody else's copyrighted and trademarked material to the extent that this is. On this CD are several books that are in print and on sale today, such as, um, I'll throw out a couple names here. There's a few Dirk Bowman books. There's a couple Patrick Spielman books. There's a couple of books by Diana Thompson. Uh, I'll show you throughout the CD except a few of the books that are for sale. I mean, a few of the books that are included on the CD. <coughs> Excuse me. Also on this CD are various patterns that was lifted off the internet and added to the CD. I personally have a stake in this because I saw several of my patterns on the CD as well as other known designers. Um, we'll go over this. I'll, I'll show them to you in the, in the video. Along with the patterns and the books included in the CD are several videos that Rick Hutchinson has on his website that was copied to the CD. So I'll quit talking now. I'll plug the CD into the computer and show you what I'm talking about. You can make your own judgment about copyright laws, about copyright infringements. But please be assured that I do own this CD, but I do not own the rights to distribute anything on this CD. I guarantee that I will not use this CD after this video. I don't know what I'm going to do with the CD, but I'm probably file it under unusable. But like I said before, there's not a thing on this CD that will be available for purchase from me, or I will not share any part of this CD. So I'm going to get started. This I will come back at the end of this presentation and give my final views on this CD.
I have put the CD into the drive on the computer and opened up the drive that it, that it belongs to and this is the first thing that comes up it says NPT Model Club I want to click on this and open it up you'll see all these different folders that was in the previous folder I'm going to start at the top decorative silhouettes double click open it up and let's see what's in this file just silhouettes from probably all internet images a lot of these could be Dover images I'm not quite sure these are probably pretty easily found on the internet I'll just click through a bunch of these real fast and show you different different things that are in here okay I'm going to X out of this one X out of this folder open up the free scrolls books okay if I counted right there's 55 books in this folder I'm going to open up this first book the PDF files is named 3D patterns for the scroll saw open it up you'll see this book by Diana Thompson has her name right here on the bottom of the first page also says copyrighted material so I'm going to scroll down a little bit show you different things that are in this book showing you that it is it is a complete book that is downloaded here's some patterns odds and end things from Diana Thompson and I don't know how many pages there are I'm going to scroll to the bottom and it says there are 49 pages okay I'm going to X out of this file open up let's see animal puzzles let's try that one okay Judy and Dave Peterson come over to the right and scroll down see what's show you what's in this book here's Judy and Dave okay they have patterns in this book instructions just like you would buy off the shelf at a store this is the book okay I'm going to X out of this file let's go to another one how about classic fretwork scroll saw patterns oh Patrick Spillman and James Riedel or Rydal. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. I want to scroll down on this book. This is a Sterling Publishing book. You can see all the different patterns in here. I want to scroll all the way down and show you. Up here it shows us a 194 page book. Okay, I'm going to X out of this file. Let's do one more here. I'm going to scroll down and look for. How about Small Intarsia? Let's see what this book is. Small Intarsia, woodworking projects you can make. You can tell this book was scanned. You can see the, the spline on the book over here, the, the uh, pages that are a little bit wrinkled. Let's scroll down a little bit. Judy Gale Roberts and Jerry Boer. Okay, scroll on down, scroll on down. Go all the way to the bottom. This shows 70 pages. Okay, I'm going to X out of this file. I'm going to go back to the next major file here let's go to 
scroll faces. Just start here. You can see on the right what's contained in here. I'll click on this one. Scroll down a little bit. What's that? Charlie Chaplin, Charles Bronson right here. You can see that right here there's a name of the designer. This is Jack Nicholson. Johnny Cash. Santa Claus. I want to open this one up. You can see this one's made by Air Pop. Really like this pattern here. That's a really nice pattern. X out of this one. Let's go to Nicole Richie. This one's owned by SpraySdensils.com. About Pink Floyd faces. Okay, X out of here. Well, back up here and go to scroll JPEGs. I find this folder interesting because I personally have about 10 or 12 patterns in this section. The patterns that are that are mine are included are all copyrighted patterns. I'm going to go to Black Rhino, see what that is. Well, that's a nice pattern. Another pattern by Air Pop. I'm going to just click right here and go through these pretty quick. Uh, there's one I did. This friend of mine, Charles, he gave me a picture of this, asked me to make this design for him. This is a free pattern on my website. i go through this pretty quick. Insects, butterflies. Camel. Another air pop. This pattern I guarantee is a Dover pattern. I've seen it in one of their books. Go through here a little bit quicker. I think you get my point here how many patterns are in there. There's probably 250, 350 patterns in this section. Okay, I'm going to X out of this. Let's go to the next section. Scroll media. What's this one? Uh, this just files that won't be able to open right now. Scroll PDF. Um, yep. Steve Good patterns. In this section probably has at least 50 of Steve Good patterns in it. Woodwork PDFs. Let's see. Duh. I believe this is just general woodworking patterns and articles. Let's just pull up. Um, let's just go to the first one Antique Tools. Yep, written by Robert Sutter. I'm not sure which magazine or book this came out of. Hit the X out of this one. Let's pull up another one. Let's see here. Oh, buying old tools. Let's see what this is about. Oh, nice color pictures. A lot of old hand planes. Fine woodworking magazine. It is November, December 2005. I'll quickly run through this. Okay, I'm going to X out of here. Back up again, go to a different folder. Uh, let's 
let's see what this PDF file is. Oh, another book. This was a Dirk Bowman book. Scroll saw for the first time. Many patterns in it, some that I've completed myself. Very, very nice book. Okay, I'm going to X back out of here. Back up on this. I just wanted to show you how much on this CD is actually copyrighted material. So make your own judgment. If you want to buy this, go ahead and buy it. If you don't want to buy it, that's fine too. I, don't, I can't tell you which way to go. But remember, every item on this CD somebody owns a copyright to and every time you use one of these patterns the artist or designer loses money so use your own discretion and happy scrolling and I'll see you soon thanks